This weekend marked the 15-year anniversary of the Chris Benoit murder-suicide. And the Nancy and Daniel Benoit tragedy, the real tragedy, is what he did to his wife and son. It is the darkest day in the history of the wrestling business that someone who was so well-respected and and mostly well-liked, by all accounts, would do something so monstrous and so evil. You know, I still remember where I was and what I was doing when I heard the news. I was still at the office. I was checking the Wrestling Observer website before Raw that night because it was supposed to be this big three-hour show, the, the funeral for Mr. McMahon. And I was just, I was on my way out the door and I was just checking the site and I saw that headline and my jaw dropped. It takes a lot to really shock me. And I, I've never been more shocked by a wrestling headline, that I could tell you. And like a lot of people, I was trying in my head to come up with some explanation for how a family of three could die so suddenly, all in the same house at the same time. And the first thing I thought of was carbon monoxide poisoning. You know, I've heard, unfortunately, stories on the news, even here locally, and it happens where there's a carbon monoxide leak in the house and they don't have an alarm or maybe it wasn't functioning properly. And it can wipe out an entire family. And that was the first thing that entered my mind. Oh my God, maybe there was a a carbon monoxide leak. And it just wiped them all out in their sleep or something. The the thought of of murder-suicide, the thought of Benoit killing his family, it just, it never, it never even entered my mind. It's just, it's something you don't even want to think about. It's something you can't fathom. But when the facts became clear about what had happened, and you read about how savagely beaten his wife's body was, and then, of course, what he did to his son, any sympathy I may have had for the man went right out the window. And it's fine to go back and watch his matches and acknowledge what a great wrestler he was, and that's how some people might choose to remember him. But... Chris Benoit stained his legacy in one weekend and will forever go down as a monster who killed his family. And that's too bad, but what's really a shame is that the two other people lost their lives for no good reason at all. And on that note, the first question here comes from Luke in Maricopa, Arizona, who wants to know, in light of the anniversary of the Benoit tragedy, there's been something I've been meaning to ask. If Eddie Guerrero had lived, do you think it would never have happened, or would it have only delayed the inevitable? And I thought and I thought about that question for, for a little bit. You know, Chris was clearly pained by Eddie's death. We, we heard it from Vicky. We heard it from other wrestlers who knew him. I mean, Eddie Guerrero's death, it was like a family member dying. I mean, it affected him in a profound way. But had Eddie Guerrero been around at the time, I think, if anything, it only would have delayed the inevitable. You know, whatever happened in that house that weekend, maybe it started as an argument that Chris and Nancy were having. You know, Eddie Guerrero being alive would not have changed the outcome of what happened. If the circumstances were exactly the same and whatever it was that just set him off in the way that it did, I don't believe that Eddie Guerrero being alive very likely would have changed much about what ended up happening. I think the same thing would have ended up happening whether it was that weekend or some other weekend. He had been physically abusive with her before. I mean, you know, Chris was no angel. He was paranoid. You heard the stories from his friends and the people that worked with him in the weeks leading up to what happened. He thought there were people following him. He was changing up his driving routes. There's all kinds of weird shit going on. Whatever was going on in his head, I don't think Eddie Guerrero living would have prevented this from happening. But I I also can't be 100% certain when I say that. That's just my opinion. And my read on the situation, the honest answer is we don't know. And we will never know the answer to that question. I didn't think he was capable of such a thing. And I was wrong. 
but nobody can say for sure what would have happened. It's one of those what-if questions that we can never have a firm answer to. But in my in my opinion, in my you know, my belief is that it would not have changed what ended up happening here. 